Hi Crypto Kings and Queens, welcome to my channel. In today's episode, we're going to talk about where the market can come back down to, obviously, because we want to have a long position or I want to have a long position and I really want to find out where I can take these from. What we're looking at right now, we do have the support if we're going down to the lower time frames, but what I really have to watch out for right now is that in tomorrow's new candle that we're having, we don't want to have a candlestick closing inside of the support one more time because if it does the market just will come back up again if i'm thinking about going short i definitely have to wait and see right now what the market will do during these couple of hours and obviously we have to go back down to the lower time frame because if we're doing that we always be ahead of time and see okay we are breaking this support right here we are having the 50 percent but we can start to see right now market is actually breaking to the upside our job is right now to just follow market and don't go short just because we think the market will go down forever or jump into a trade as long too quick also remember i am no financial advisor so you need to look up everything yourself first but please continue watching this video i'm gonna try to help you understand how i see bitcoin right now <music> We're starting off with the weekly. I'm just going to take everything away so we can start over together because we're here together, right? We're trying to understand cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and all the other pairs together. We're taking our first horizontal line at the previous all time high that we did have around 65,000. We're taking one also on the highest, uh, on our newest all time high around 67,000. Uh, like that and we're also taking using it from the body of the wick right here on the all-time high uh, body what can happen right now well we do have five hours and 45 minutes left of this candle so it's a lot of things that can happen so but these are very good targets for us to use if the market decides to read us this um this resistance the previous uh, high that we did have and this was also an area where the market actually started to have a liquidity to the downside so it's easier right now for us to go to the lower time frames looking at the daily we do have a huge huge bearish candlestick right here can you see how perfect it is actually in between the the box that i'm taking it from the weekly it's so Perfect. Okay, so we're going down to lower time frames, even to the four hour chart. And we are doing the same thing like yesterday. We do have this lower low, low high, lower low, lower high, lower low, because we did break this lower low that we did have around 60,600. And market broke it, came back down, retested it. So right now it looks like we can come back down a little bit more. If we're looking at the daily, and we're having an engulfing candle kind of we do have an engulfing candle but we are also inside of the box right now so what we can do we could definitely i want to go to the to the higher time frames to see exactly what how it looks to see where we can put our fibonacci and on the two day we can take it from the lowest point at five seven four hundred to the highest point and that is six uh, and we are right now where the fibonacci is we did break the 61 percent we're taking this one away so we can see more clear on what's going on so this is how it looks i i do believe market can come back down a little bit more so we can take our fibonacci and draw it down to uh, 53,800 instead and you can see that it's you know we have to let the market move it has to have its room right now to to do what it's supposed to do so we're not gonna pretend that we're having levels like the Fibonacci and just be stuck with okay this is from this area the market will continue to the upside market shows us clear bearish candlestick showing us hey we are still continuing down but the next target that we can have is 57,800 and 59,000. And we also have it at this previous resistance. Market can come back down here and then we just might see the pullback end. 
because this is everything that we're looking for right now we're only looking for the market where it can pull back so we can be able to see if or if i'm gonna get in a long position or if maybe i'm gonna start shorting the market because we we're having a huge downtrend but it's very hard because we need to we need to break certain levels to see if that's really what's going on because we can just have a quick pullback and then the market continues to the upside so that is why it's really important right now to see how the first, how Monday is reacting to it. Because if we're having a doji on the weekly chart like this, it's also in it's also below the previous all time high that we did have around sixty four thousand eight hundred. So market could definitely continue back down after this because we're having a huge week and on the lower time frames we do see. A downtrend so we have to break the up the downtrend on the lower time frames to see where the market actually is starting to reject or if it's gonna break the downtrend continue to an uptrend or not looking like this right now on the day on the one hour chart we do have huge bearish candlestick we did break this we did break this previous support that I did have you have it, you it broke it came back up retested it boom it's on its way down so i would definitely want to see market coming back down to 59,000 or 57,700 during tomorrow or these come these coming hours i do really want the market to come back down a little bit more before i see a opportunity for myself to go into a long position and i'm looking at these targets uh, on the fibonacci level going down to the lower time frames we did have this market going just sideways until the market did decide to break it broke out retest continuation to the downside so until tomorrow we just have to wait and see how the market will move if we're having on the daily the if we're having the continuation of this engulfing candlestick right here and we're also breaking the the support what also can happen is that the market will fake us out if we are if we believe the market will continue up and from nowhere we're having a candlestick looking like this on the daily tomorrow and that is not good so that's why we have to really follow the market is it still doing lower highs lower lows lower high lower lows or start or is the market starting to break to the upside one more time because everything that happens on this on the lower time frames is that what's built up the higher time frames so you kind of can see what's going on so that's why we really have to wait and see because the market is right now in the downtrend but if the, we're having the fake out the market will continue back inside of the support one more time continues up and that will build up this fake out this bullish candlestick one more time coming into the support and people getting trapped because you're having this huge bearish candlestick people starts to sell the market but what happens the daily opens we go back a little bit more market continues to the upside but on the lower time frames we are definitely starts to see that the market is doing the lower high lower low lower high lower low lower high but then it, from nowhere the market starts to break it and starts to make high highs and higher lows instead so we have to we really have to follow price right now and see how the market is reacting to these levels and also because we're not so far away from 59,000, if it just might come back down to that area and then it starts to slowly go to the upside it doesn't have to come back down to 65 percent to 61 percent usually the market comes to 50 percent and then the market has touched the Fibonacci and then it continues to whatever direction it's supposed to go. 61%, sometimes 50%, 50 more often. But we are just in the middle of everywhere right now. So if I would go in a long, it's obviously for a, a scoping. I would not have my target further down than the Fibonacci right here. This is what I see right now on Bitcoin. I want to see how the market is actually moving against these levels. This is gonna retrace back up will it come back down even more is it gonna break it tomorrow and we'll see a fake out inside of we're seeing the market coming inside 
of the support one more time so we really have to be very we definitely have to wait and see right now what direction the market is heading to so thank you so much for watching this video i hope you learned something please comment below if you did or if you just want to be very nice to me and tell me hey you're so good natalie i really like her today or something like that otherwise have a good day subscribe to this channel so you're always getting updated with my live streams and my daily videos have a good day trade with risk management bye bye bye